This is an example of a contiguous file allocation. Typically what happens on the disk is when we have a file, it has a pointer, says block number one is the beginning of my document. And then it says I have six blocks starting at one, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. File one. Another file, file two, says I'm going to start at seven. And I'm going to go for 16 blocks. 16 blocks continuously, meaning they're always allocated in one single go. This is great because it means if I want the fifth block in this file, all I have to do is start here. I don't even have to start here. I know exactly what it is. It's 5 plus 1, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know to get the fifth block, all I have to do is go directly to 11. Literally one read, I mean. And you can edit and replace it, etc. Now just continue. Here's my third file, starting at block 23. And it's got 38 blocks here. It's 38 blocks total there. That's OK. Now let's try another scenario. We want to edit file 2. Delete file 2. All you have to do is remove the file, remove the pointer. No longer exists. Let's continue adding files. I'm going to add a 7 block file. So we can allocate it at block number 7 ending at block 13 and uh, there's a bit of wasted space here. Notice there's a bit of space empty. Now we've got an interesting situation to think about. What happens if we edit file 1 but want to add 15 blocks to it? Well under a TUS system we can't simply delete file 4 and add the files on because it's just simply too much shuffling of the blocks around the disk. What we actually do is we actually delete the old file. So let's see. Delete the old file and we simply add a new file which is 30 blocks long so we need to find a space that's got 30 blocks free and we can see it here. It's a free space. We simply add it. So we start now at, at 61 and we simply have 30 blocks on this list. So a total of 38 blocks, I believe. Sorry, my apologies. 36 blocks. So of course what actually happens is we don't allocate space to this waste, wasted space until we see what happens. Now we know there's a, there's a whole bunch of um, amount of blocks left. We want to add a small file of 10 blocks. The biggest problem is we don't have 10 blocks contiguously free. Here's the largest one I can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which means that we can't allocate it, and the system will say the disk is full, which is not very useful. Um, if this was a tape, that's also a major problem. You cannot insert, literally, information into the spot, and the disk is full.